guys welcome back to its card sad and today as you can see i am back after three or four long weeks and i know that no one even wait for my video but but uh, i saw one subscriber um, unsubscribed from my channel today and i'm actually really happy about it because that subscriber was waiting for my videos to be posted and when he saw that uh, i'm not posting any videos he, he unsubscribed yeah I, I can take everything positively anyways uh, today i'm gonna teach you a fidget move uh, fidget cardist move actually uh, we i call it fidget move because this is one of the moves which can be easily um, uh, which can be easily practiced and whenever you have a deck of cards in hand it will be really practiced uh, quickly because this uh, these type of moves doesn't uh, last long i mean these type of moves length uh, have a maximum of one second these moves are fidget moves because they, they happen really fast and I have learned many fidget moves before but uh, this is my new, this is my creation so I'm really proud to give a tutorial on this and I think it's really an eye catching move because its flow is really smooth and that's the main reason why I named it smoothie so because it happens very smoothly and that is the main thing if you are doing cardistry because you need smoothness and uh, flow. Without giving further ado, I'm gonna teach you this move and also I'm gonna give you some tips and some updates for my channel that I have some plans. So let's get into it. So today I'm gonna use a new deck of playing cards and please forgive the shadow. It's of my tripods and mine. So let's concentrate on the deck of cards which is bicycle playing cards. <laughs> move looks like this as you can see it has a really cool and smooth flow as you can see this just this has a very smooth flow which makes it unique and eye-catching I like to do it uh, as normal flourish uh, fidget move but you can use it with Charlie cut or revolution cut with anything you want and make your own move I don't mind at all so without getting further ado I'm gonna show you the tutorial at first hold the card in dealer's grip now in your left hand of course if you are right handed hold it in dealer's grip now what you have to do is hold 10 to 15 cards and I, I advise 10 to 12 cards uh, actually or 5 to 6 cards maybe <laughs> whatever you want man I don't care at all so uh, the thickness is fine enough as long as you are able to rotate those cards uh, smoothly anyways so at first so you're gonna hold this deck of cards in upward straddle grip in lifted straddle grip actually and now you have to connect contact your other hand uh, and contact contact the top five or six card with your thumb in the lower left corner right here take five to six card and contact your ring, uh, pinky finger in the top right corner and these other fingers just are flying around upwards and you have to split the cards by riffling down this like this and you can also do a dribble like this to show some more impact but I just do it normally by riffling down these cards and end up right here as you can see there are not more than six to eight cards and after you did that you have to contact your right uh, hands index finger right here and rotate this card by pivoting in the point of pinky and thumb they are the contact points and you are gonna rotate this uh, this packet by using your index finger and now here comes the tricky part which is um, actually uh, very hard to do in slow motion while you are rotating this card, so you are going to pivot this uh, index finger right here as you can see this is in the exact middle position of the packet and now you, what you have to do is you have to leave this this fingers this middle and ring finger which are helping to rotate those cards uh, at first this pinky was contacting here at first you're gonna leave this pinky then you're gonna leave this ring finger too then you're gonna leave this middle finger too and you're gonna 
you have to uh, slightly leave this middle finger and now your thumb and the pink your thumb and the index actually are the only fingers which are going to hold this packet like this and due to the momentum which you are causing due to the speed will help you to rotate this card very smoothly and help you uh, make it fall down on the packet i'm going to show you once again pinky finger here thumb here as you can see rotate the packet by using your pinky now leave the pinky leave the middle sorry leave the ring finger now leave the middle finger too slowly make your uh, you hold the packet by using your thumb and index finger only now now cause of the momentum your thumb and index will help it rotate the packet like this and will help you to let it fall on the packet on the rest of the packet actually uh, after you do that you will feel that this move is not that hard uh, actually it doesn't even seem hard it's just uh, the only special thing about this move the only tip I can give about this move is catch the momentum catch the speed which is the most important thing in this move as you can see why I call it a fidget move this happens in a blink of an so share with these videos with your beginner cardist friends or beginner magician friends who just wanna hang out in some new channels and help us out because youtube is really tough these days so thank you for watching this long guys and goodbye i'm gonna